Hello everyone and welcome. Yes, in today's lesson, we are going to study uh, the verbals. Uh, I am sure that uh, you know them very well and uh, maybe uh, you know uh, half of, more than half of them, uh, as you know, but let's uh, practice them now. Uh, with, of course, the new forms of them. As you know, originally, verbals are verbs, but uh, in their new form, uh, they are used uh, as, uh, as a noun, and sometimes as a subject, and sometimes as an adverb. Okay, uh, Let's uh, summarize and review them in a detailed manner. Yes. Okay, uh, here is a GIF. The GIF says, we are going to be better than ever. We are going to be better than ever. Of course, in English. Okay, in our English, by learning step by step, gradually saying, Welcome, nice to meet you, hello, hi, etc., etc. Then uh, I got this. Uh, we shall be better and better at improving our English, yes. To be good at, to be better at, to be the best at, yes. In fact, being better and better means uh, improving, improving our English, making it better and better. Now, this is trip, and it will be about only infinitives, but of course, we may sometimes need, we may sometimes need to compare infinitives with uh, gerunds and uh, participles. Yes. Uh, of course, mostly, yet yeah, let's focus on infinitives. Here is the explanation. Because of the fact that infinitive form is a noun, we can use it both as a subject and an object of a sentence. Yeah, because they are noun. For example, learn is a verb originally. But if we put two in front of it, it becomes the name of that action. To learn is the infinitive form and it is noun, it becomes a subject like this. To learn English is necessary. Or we can use it as a uh, as an object of the sentence. I promise to learn English. Okay, yes, you already know it. I want to learn English. I uh, decided to learn English. I attempted to learn English, etc., etc., uh, and but uh, the best way of saying or giving this message is uh, this form: it is necessary to learn English. It is necessary to learn English. Okay. Adjective to do. Okay, let's go forward. To drive the nail into the trunk also means to underline the success. Yes. Infinitive form is used uh, as a subject of a sentence like this. To collect pictures may be a hobby for him. Or it may be a hobby for him to collect pictures. To climb this hill is not easy, or it's not easy to climb this hill, this mountain. Three, to write a novel takes longer time than write a story. It takes longer time to write a novel than write a story. Four, to learn a foreign language must be interesting. Must be interesting to learn a foreign language. Now, images say that uh, 
the time to learn a foreign language is now. If it is not now, when? If not now, when? Or uh, if, yes, not now, when? The second one says, if not me, who? If not now, when? In short. Or if not me, if not him, if not it, then what? If not him, then who? Okay, like this. Short, but very practical. Five, time to plan. Time to plan. Plan to do, for example, also takes uh, infinitive. Yes, uh, you know that, but it is, yes, it's a fact that we use infinity verbs after certain verbs, such as plan. I plan to buy a car, or I am planning. I am planning to buy a new car. I am planning to change my car. Okay, five. Yes, this is also very uh, practical. We should be, we should be able to use it like this. Uh, with the negative form, to do or not to do, may be the subject and object of a sentence. Not to ask any questions can't be a way of learning. Yeah. It can't be a way of learning not to ask any questions. Not to spend money randomly needs a good planning. It needs a good planning. It needs a good planning uh, not to spend money randomly, extravagantly. For somebody to do something, this is also important. Uh, for me, for example, for him, object pronoun, for them, for us, for Ahmed, for the, uh, for the teacher, for the president, okay. for me, Talk like that was impolite. For me here means in my opinion, comma, talk like that was impolite. To talk like that for me was impolite. It was impolite for me to talk like that. Yes, it here at the beginning, it refers to to talk. Yeah, okay, it was impolite for me to talk like that. Uh, the image says it's impolite to keep people waiting. Yes, keep someone something, doing something. It's impolite to keep people waiting. Okay. Let's keep, let's keep learning infinitives. Okay. It's adjective for somebody to do something. For them to find a guide is urgent or it's urgent for them to find a guy. For her, uh, for her to translate spontaneously is easy, or it's easy for her to translate spontaneously. The image says professional translation service. What is your purpose? What is your purpose? Yes, my purpose is to master English. One, number one, we went to London to improve our English. Yeah, we went to London last year to make our English better and better. We went to London last year to be better and better at English, or we went to London, we went to London last year uh, to be better and better than ever in English this time. Okay. Two, we should open the window to get some fresh air. Why? To get some fresh air. Okay, this is the purpose of this message. We should open the window to get some fresh air. So it is. It means that uh, we use infinitives to express uh, our purpose. He left the room early. Why? To do what? He left. Uh, he left. The, uh, did he leave the room early? To do what? He left the room early to catch the bus. 
He left the room early not to miss the bus. Yes, to catch the bus or not to miss the bus. They go to bed early to wake up early. She makes plans to use the time properly or in order to use the time properly or in order that they use the time properly. Now we use in order that clause as well, but we will, uh, uh, we will study them. Uh, comprehensively in the in uh, soon yeah in the following days seven she makes plans in order not to waste time or just she makes plans not to waste time in the expressions uh in the expressions such as these are extremely important to start a sentence, to start a conversation. We really need them. Yeah, let's read the, the images first. To tell you the truth, or just to tell the truth, come on. To tell the truth, to be frank, to be open, to be open-minded, okay? To be frank, to be honest, and tell the truth, or to be honest and to tell the truth. Well, the Gibb says it was a crazy plan to begin with. Yes, to begin with, to start with, these are extremely important. Yes, we can especially, 90%, we put them at the beginning of a sentence like this. To begin with, it was a crazy plan, and I can say a lot uh, more things about it. Okay. To begin with, it was a crazy plan. Or... It was a crazy plan to begin with. Now, let me tell you another reason, another reason, uh, sequentially as well. <clears throat> okay, now let's just read them. To tell you the truth, comma, subject, verb, object. Yes, you can make millions of sentences, okay? To tell you the truth, you are my friend. To tell you the truth, you can speak English. To tell you the truth, uh, my father uh, was uh, was the mayor of the city. To tell you the truth, you must study hard. Yes, millions of sentences. I really advise you uh, to make, uh, to produce sentences. To be frank, to be open, to be frank, you are very hardworking. To be frank, you are my true neighbor. Okay, to be frank, and millions of sentences. To be honest, yeah, this is especially, this is very famous. To be honest, to be sincere, to be sincere, to be honest, uh, a subject, just a sentence with a subject, verb, and object. To begin with, yeah, to begin with, or to start with, is there to start? Yes, there is. To begin with, to start with, Okay, now, number one, to tell you the truth, to be honest, you can put all of them here, to be frank, to be honest, to start with, to begin with, okay? Okay, to tell you the truth, I want to move forward. I want to go ahead. Okay, the images, the first image say, says, May I be frank? Yes, to be ill instead of saying to be frank, but to be frank is the most common one. May I be frank? May I be frank? Yes. How to manage yourself? How to manage yourself? How to manage your ego? To be frank, you were wrong. Okay. To be honest, he hasn't got any money to buy that house. To begin with, you have to buy three books, one of which is on tests. To start with, she has to manage herself before being a manager. Ah, it is interesting. To start with, to begin with, she has to manage herself before being a manager, before managing the others. Now, adjective to do something. 
Hi, it's nice to see you. Adjective to do. Okay. Adjective to see you. Nice to see you. Is it possible to lose weight fast? Is it possible to lose weight fast or is it impossible to lose weight fast? Last one. I am not just happy. I am very proud. Proud is adjective. Proud man. Proud lady. I am very proud to work with all of you. Yes, I am very proud to be here. I am very proud to have a lesson like this with you. Okay. Now, uh, I am sure, I am certainly sure that you know all of them because we did this in the beginner uh, level uh, videos. Yes. For example, it's nice to see you or it's great to see you or it's good to see you. Is it possible to have a piece of lemon? Is it possible to have a piece of lemon for my tea? Yes. I am proud to work with you. I am proud to work with you. I am glad to meet you. I am happy to meet you. I am pleased to meet you. Yeah. We have remembered it once. So the fourth one, he able is adjective, okay? Able person, for example. Uh, be able to is famous. Be able to means can. You know this. He was able to use the computer when he was four years old. Or he could use. He could use the computer when he was four years old. He was able to use. His parents surprised. His parents surprised to see him use the computer and play games on it. Okay, okay. This here is another important point. See somebody do something. Okay. See. Somebody do something. So the wall action, but it is also possible to say, see him using the computer. Okay. Part of the action. Okay. Hold it. This is another expression. Okay. And play. Yes. See him. Uh, his parents were surprised to see him play games on it. Now, willing again. Willing is adjective. Adjective to do. Be willing to be eager to. I am sure you also know them. Uh, we were willing to send her to a language course. Okay. Online language courses. One of those online language courses. Okay, scientific scientific student competition. Okay, the, the image says six. Uh, they have been they have been delighted. They have been delighted. Yes, we can put here all uh, any of them. They have been amazed. They have been disappointed. They have been astonished, stunned, able. They have been able to join the competition. They have been willing to join the competition. They have been surprised to join the competition. They have been lucky to have been the competition. Yes, it is a homework for you. Write at least uh, four sentences. Please write to improve your writing or uh, to make your writing better and better. Okay, they have been uh, willing to join the competition or they have been reluctant, reluctant, okay? Not eager, not willing. They have been reluctant to join the competition. These are really, and you can change this as well. They have been, they are, Delighted to join the competition now. They will be delighted to join the competition tomorrow. They were delighted to join the competition uh, last Sunday. And they have been delighted to join the competition for a few days. Yes, it is really very practical. Seven, it's certain. 
possible, impossible to, okay, adjective to. It's certain to change a negative atmosphere into a positive one, or it's possible, or it is likely. It is not unlikely, okay? It is likely to change a negative atmosphere into a positive one. It's surprising, it is motivating. Yes. Or to change a negative atmosphere into a passive one is certain, is necessary, is possible. Now, uh, the image says eight simple ways positive, uh, positive attitude work. Yes, eight simple ways to keep, yeah, to keep, uh, to keep a positive attitude, uh, attitude at work. Okay, yeah. So we can also produce sentence like this. There are, yeah, the, I know, eight simple ways to keep, to keep a positive attitude manner uh, at work. Okay, or you can learn you must learn you should know you should know eight simple ways uh, to keep a positive attitude at work okay or i can tell you i can tell you 18 simple ways to keep a positive attitude at work okay now uh, infinitive or infinitive phrase as subject uh, as subject is not common but impersonal it as subject is better yes i said i always said this uh, it, uh, it as you know it is preferred both in infinitive and gerunds yes okay uh, for example, going to bed early is important to get up early. Yeah, both uh, infinitives, it's, it, it is nice here that I put gerund as well. Going to bed early is important to get up early. Or to go to bed early is important to get up uh, early. These are all 100% true sentences. But this is, uh, this is the uh, best or most common, which one is better. Yes, it is. Uh, the impersonal it as subject is better. Let me change the color and let me make it red. Okay, it is very important. Okay. Yes, you know this as well. It is important to go to bed early, to get up early. It here means uh, the situation. Yeah, situation, going to bed, to go to bed. Yes, it. It is important to go to bed early, to get up early. I think it will be an image. And I will share it on English Acquiring channel. Okay, uh, adjective, adverb, enough to do something. Yeah, this is also in please, uh, please uh, not try to use just adjective enough to do, but also uh, get used to, get used to speaking as adverb enough to do something, okay? For example, Peter is clever. He can solve this problem. Peter is clever enough to solve and explain this problem. Uh, yes, uh, I am sure again, you know this, we have studied, I think, two or three presentations about this topic from time to time. Uh, let's take a look at uh, in the parentheses. If two or three infinitives are joined, yeah, by and or or, the two of the second or third infinitive can be omitted. But if you want to emphasize, you can use it as well like this. Peter is clever enough to solve and to explain this problem. Okay, it is also possible, but you can omit if you want. Mark drives carefully. He will succeed in his race. Mark drives carefully enough to succeed in this race. Carefully enough to. 
okay, succeed in this race. Yes, this is also an image and I will share it on our English acquiring channel because here is adjective enough to do and adverb enough to do something are present, yes. Now, number one, you are tall enough to play basketball. You must jump quickly, cleverly, attentively enough to score the basket. How to learn anything faster? Fast, faster, fastest. Three, they learn fast enough, okay? They're, they learn fast enough to finish the course on time successfully. He earns well enough, good well. Well is the adverb, uh, irregular adverb. He earns well enough to buy a car soon. Yes, these are adverbs of manner. Well, carefully, attentively, cleverly. How cleverly? The, the, the answer of the question, how? Now, enough now to do something. And you also know that uh, now to do something, enough now to do something. Okay. He doesn't have enough money to buy, to buy or build a new house this year. So, you know, yes, let's do it like this as well by using to uh, as a second time. He doesn't have enough money to buy or to build a new house this year also possible. Okay, or uh, now to do. He doesn't have money. He doesn't have money to buy, to buy or build a new house this year. Now we just put enough before money. He doesn't have enough money to buy or to build a new house this year. She doesn't have enough experience to deal with this problem. She doesn't have enough experience to deal with this problem. There aren't enough players to start the game. Okay. Enough noun to do something, not enough noun to do something also possible. Yes. Two adjective to do something. The weather was too cold to go out. Yeah, this is our famous sentence. We, we have remembered it again. The weather was in the past too cold to go out. It's too early to start the journey. He is too young to catch fish. Yes. After the superlatives and the sequence words, such as the best, the cheapest, the most suitable, the tallest, the first, the second, the next, the last, etc., we use infinitives, okay? For example, number one, Orhan might be the most convenient to be elected as the spare head, as the head of the campaign for him. Number two, he is the best to deal. Yes, we know this. We know this uh, adjective to do, okay? Adjective to do, uh, comparative uh, adjective to do, or the superlative adjective to do by using the in superlatives, okay? He is the best to deal with this project successfully. Okay. Orhan was the first to come to the meeting yesterday. Orhan was the first to come to the meeting. For the office in Freedom Street will be the most favor favorable to rent. Okay. The most favorable means the most desirable, uh, the most ideal. Okay, so optimum, the most uh, the most optimum to rent, optimum or optimal both are uh, okay, accurate. Yes, most favorable, most desirable, most optimum or optimum. You can of course say the most uh, the most expensive or the cheapest to rent. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Who was the last to join the course? Who was the first to join the course? Who was the last to join the course? Number six. 
who will be the next to ask a question? Yes. Who is the next to ask a question? Who was the next to ask a question? Who will be the next to ask a question? He has to be the best and the first to bring three gold medals. Yes. He has to be the best and the first athlete to bring three gold medals. Of course, everybody knows that uh, a noun may come, can come after the positive adjectives, the comparative adjectives, and the superlative adjectives. You have been the ninth to be treated. Okay, you have been you have been the ninth pati patient to be treated. The first person. You have been the ninth person to be treated. Number nine. What is the best to cook now? Yes. What is the best to cook now? Or what is the cheapest to cook now? What is the most suitable to cook now? With, this is also very important and you will uh, learn it for the first time. We have never talked about this expression before, okay? So this is exactly the uh, subject of the advanced level, but it's so simple, of course, uh, so useful, uh, so easy, yes. With only to express uh, an unsatisfactory result, a, a negative result, okay? For example, they went to the dentist only to find the dentist had left. So they, did they meet the dentist? Did they see the dentist? No, unfortunately, they didn't see the dentist. They didn't uh, meet the dentist. So as a result, at the end of the day, they went there, the dentist's office, but they went there, there only to find the dentist had left. They learned that the dentist had left, only to find, only to learn the dentist had left. They applied for the job only to wait for three months. So did they, uh, did they apply for the job? No. Uh, more. Uh, Moreover, they uh, waited for three months at the end of the day. Let me read it again. They applied for the job only to wait for three months. Okay. So adjective has to do. Uh, this is, uh, I want, well, adjective to do, yes, this is famous, but is it easy or difficult? Uh, to use it uh, by by putting as before to. So adjective as to do, okay? So adjective to do, okay, but so adjective as to do something. They have the same meaning with the uh, so adjective to do, so adjective as to do something. Would you be so kind? Would you be so kind as to? Would you be so kind? As to change the tire of my car? Yeah, of course, uh, politer than. Yes, the same meaning, the same message. It is used in the same situation, but it has a more, uh, it has a politer uh, uh, meaning. Okay, would you be so kind, instead of saying to change the tire, as to change, as to change. Would you be so kind as to change the tire? Uh, it is really difficult to say, but I advise you to repeat it uh, again and again for many times. Would you be so kind as to tell me the direction to the city center? Thank you for your kindness. Sometimes it takes only one act of kindness and caring to change a person's life. Yes, I believe this idea. I accept this idea. Okay, one act of kindness uh, may be a life-changing uh, experience for us. Okay, yes, uh, after passive verbs, after passive verbs, how like this? 
she was reminded, okay? Uh, she was requested, she was advised, she was wanted. Yes, she was wanted to be punctual or she was reminded to be punctual for the interview after passive. Well, be reminded, be asked. She was asked to be punctual for the interview. You will be asked to explain the situation. You will be wanted to explain the situation. You will be demanded to explain the situation. You will be requested to explain the situation. And you will be told, yeah, you will be told to explain the situation. What does the image say? Keep calm and explain the situation. Yes, when that time comes, please keep calm and ex just explain the situation and don't think anything. Don't think anything. Don't think about anything. Okay, with adjective of somebody. This is very practical and I advise you to make uh, uh, many, many sentences by using this structure. Yes, it starts again with an impersonal pronoun, it, okay? It's very kind of you. It's very adjective of you, okay? It's very kind of you to be helpful. It's very kind of you to help me. It's very kind of you to have helped me. It's very kind of you to have such a good behavior. Okay? It's very kind of you to be helpful. It's very, it's very kind of you uh, to carry my bags. Or it's very kind of you to have carried my bags. It was generous of him to lend you that much money. It was gracious. It was gracious of him to lend you that much money. It was uh, nice of him. It was nice of him to lend you that much money. Yes, extremely uh, kind expression. Yes. Oh, that's very kind of you. It's very kind of you. Both are possible. Now, after certain nouns, for example, did you uh, did you notice her ambition to? Yes, it is a general rule. Uh, these are the most suitable nouns, or these are the nouns that we need most, mostly. Okay. Did you notice her ambition to reach the peak? Or did you notice her anxiety to reach the peak, her attempt, her decision, her demand, her desire, her determination? Did you notice her determination to reach the peak of the mountain? If the peak, this is the peak of the mountain. That is it. Yes. Uh, this is the peak of the mountain. There is a fleck on top of the mount, at the top of the mount, is both, I, I've heard both of them, at the top of the mountain or on top of the mountain. Do you see there is a flag, the last flag? Okay, did you notice her promise? Yeah. Uh, did you notice, uh, notice her surprise to reach the peak? Number two, this is the plan to resist the disaster. Yeah, this is the plan to resist the disaster. He has got the ability to build a house. Is he a person of determination to finish this project success successfully? Or is he a person of honesty to finish this project uh, honestly? Is he a person of an hour? But all we can use all good. Uh, qualities, uh, human good qualities. He, a uh, noun of noun. Is he a person of kindness or gener generosity? Is he a person of generosity to finish this uh, project virtually? Yeah. 
Infinitive form is also used in the place of relative clauses that we have just finished in successive uh, four videos before this video. For example, we have got a part. We have got a part, part of a car. Yes. For example, roof is the part of a car. The wipers, the, those wipers are the parts of a car. Of course, wheels, tires are, or a tire is a, a part of a car. Indicator, yes. Okay, we have got a part. It suits your car. We have got the part which suits your car. Okay. So, we have got the part to fit your car. Okay, this is also the advanced level of using English. We have got the part which suits your car. Uh, we have got the part to which your car. Or we have got the part which will suit. Okay, which will suit, which can, which can suit your car. Or we have got the part to suit your car. We have got the part to be able to suit your car. Okay. Now, there is a mechanic. He can mend your car. There is a mechanic who can mend your car. There is a mechanic to mend your car. Or there is a mechanic to be able to mend your car. There is a mechanic who will man your car now in short this is the thing shortest way there is a mechanic to man your car now to do something there is a mechanic to man your car then the person uh, thinks uh, like this shall i repair or replace my car okay now can you solve this problem there is a problem. It is really an interesting problem. Okay. Uh, three. He was the man. Faruk one. Let's write a proper, proper Jack, for example. Jack was the man who could solve the problem. He was the man who solved the problem. Okay, Jack was the man who could solve the problem. Relative clause, Jack was the man to solve the problem. Or Jack was the man to be able to solve the problem. I think it must be an image. It is very good. Maybe I can make it, uh, I can change it into develop it into an image. Okay, four. Uh, they are the people who will sell that place. They are the people to sell that place. That's the place which will be sold. Or that's the place to be sold. They are the people to sell. Active. This is the place to be sold. Passive. As passive infinitive. They are the people to sell. Active infinitive. That's the place to be sold, passive infinity. After the superlative noun to do, the most reasonable thing to do is to be silent for a while. Most reasonable thing to do. The best song to sing is Sandan Başka. The best thing to do is to look after the baby now, at the moment. The best thing you can do is to look after the baby at the moment. The best thing to do, in short. Okay? The best thing to do is to travel from east to the west. After question words, uh, I don't know what to say. The gift says, I don't know what to say. Yes. Now, we are practicing how to how to use infinitives practically, okay? We are practicing. Uh, we are trying, we are uh, learning how to practice, how to use them. 
after questioners. I don't know what to say. Instead of saying, I don't know what I will say, we just say, I don't know what to say. In an infinitive form. She knows how to avoid wasting things. She knows it. What is it? How uh, she will avoid, how she will avoid wasting things. Or what is it? It is this, how to avoid wasting things. Okay, now close. She knows how to avoid wasting things. I am thinking about what to wear tomorrow. Or I, in a complete form, I am thinking about what I shall wear tomorrow. Tell me please why to go there. Tell me please why we shall go there. In short, tell me please why to go there. He knows when to speak. Yeah, he knows when he will speak or he knows when he speaks. But in short, he knows when to speak. He knows how to behave. He knows where to stop. He knows when to stop. Very, very practical. Are they aware of it, for example? Are, uh, are they aware of the machine? Are they aware of the button of the machine? Are they aware of it? Again. Uh, are they aware of when to switch off the machine? Are they aware of when they will switch off the machine, turn off the machine? So, again, let's read the gift uh, and then uh, go on to the other page. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say I don't know when to say, I don't know why to say this, for example. Yes, again, after certain verbs, she, you, this is famous one, the most famous one, want. She may want to speak, or you can put all of them. She may refuse to speak, she may arrange to speak, she may attempt to speak, she may decide uh, to speak, she may hope, she may expect, she may pretend, she may promise to speak, etc., etc. She may seem to, she may seem to, she may struggle to speak, she may wish to speak, okay, but would like, uh, we don't use may, model, uh, would like, itself a model phrase. She would like to speak, would love to speak, would prefer to speak. Okay, he deserved to. He deserved to have a few days off after saving the lives of two children who had been trapped in a burning building. Okay, uh, the image says virtual training session in progress. Please do not disturb. Number one, I can afford to go abroad next year. It seems that it seems that I will earn enough money until next year. She offered to help with the dishes. Did he agree to take did he agree to take the swimming course? They finally learned not to disturb the people around them. I swore to obey. Swear swore. I swore to obey the new rules. Does this say that she will end the war to do her best? Don't hesitate to drop by or to pop in to come round from time to time. Don't hesitate to visit me from time to time. Your brother seems to understand everything I say. But the gift says, no, the image says, you don't seem to understand and how serious this is. How is connected here? You don't seem to understand how serious this subject is. 
this issue is. Now this will be an image. Yeah. Help me help you. Yeah. Scratch my back. I'll scratch yours just like it is. Just like it. Okay. Help me help you. I want to help them. What do you want to do? I want to interview them. I want to be helped. What do you want to be done? I want to be interviewed. Okay. Active again. I wanted to understand and applaud the director. What did you want to do? I wanted to ask. Uh, I want. I wanted to explain, uh, explain, and define the situation. Okay. Passive. I wanted to be understood. I wanted to be understood and applauded. What did you want it to be? I wanted. I wanted to be. I wanted to be understood as well. I wanted to be. Uh, I wanted to be shown politeness. I wanted to be shown. Okay, in the structure. Yeah, subject, verb, somebody, verb somebody to do or not to do something. For example, we encouraged him to join the race or we wanted him to join the race. We persuaded him to join the race, etc., etc. Uh, these difficult difficulties compelled me to learn two foreign languages. Consequently, I began to feel more self-confident than before or than I did before. Then I felt confident before. Okay. Now quiz time. Let's again do it from the key. Before ING, after ING, okay? Before taking a test, it is important adjective to do it is important to have studied beforehand. To study is also possible, yes, but isn't it better to use a, a perfect infinitive like this? It is important to have studied earlier, beforehand. Okay. Would you rather work one? Okay. Would you rather live in the apartment where our colleagues live? Three, Pasteur, a French scientist, was the first person to discover the microbes in the West. For the witness didn't deny doing something. So the witness didn't deny coming to face uh, to uh, face to face with the criminal. So deny doing something but decide to do something, fail to do something, swear to do something, arrange, plan to do something. The guide volunteered to study, uh, to supply the bicycles for the sightseeing, volunteer to do something, but avoid doing something, postpone doing something, etc., etc. Now it's time to build, to build our Vocabulary. Let's build our vocabulary. Okay. Vocabulary building time. It's time to build vocabulary. Mood. The way you feel at a particular time, frame of mind, in a good mood is uh, positive. To be in a good mood, happy in a bad mood means angry. To be in a bad mood in a confident, optimistic mood, in a holiday mood, yes, put somebody in a good or bad mood. Make someone feel happy, angry. Get into the mood means start to feel that you are ready and want to do something. Mood for confidence, uh, mood for optimism, the general mood of among a group of people, the mood of the time or moment, Mood swings, sudden big changes in someone's mood. Lighten somebody's mood, make someone happier. 
enlighten some, somebody. Mood means make someone happier. Reflect or capture somebody. Mood means show that someone is feel what someone is feeling. Moody is a negative meaning and disapproval meaning. Moody means annoyed or unhappy, often changing quickly from being a good temper to being in a bad temper. Temperamental means changeable, uh, unstable, the opposite of stable, steady, balanced, settled. So unbalanced, yeah, mood also means unbalanced. Mood, mood. I think Rosa and Yasin are usually in a good mood due to their positive outlook on music. The perspective, due to their positive perspective on music. Do you think they can put the other people in a good mood as well? Yes. Because of the positive outlook, I think they can put the other people in a good mood as well. Herat is in a good mood today. Is Ayhan in a good mood or in a bad mood today? Unfortunately, Ayhan is in a bad mood, in a negative mood today, in a pessimistic mood Today, Reza, Reza is in a mood today, in a mood. That is why he doesn't want to play football. So it is not a problem. Sinan is the mood for playing football. Yes, is positive, approval. Is Sinan in the mood for playing football? Yes, Sinan is in the mood for playing football today. Jafer doesn't seem moody. He is quite joyful. Yeah, as you see, uh, joyful is the opposite of moody. Who seems moody today? Unfortunately, uh, Chasm seems moody today. Mod, a particular way or style of behavior, living or doing something. Manner, yeah, attitude. Okay. Mode of, the most efficient mode of transport, mode of life. Uh, mode of thought, yeah, technically, color mode, get out of the auto mode on the camera. Informal, be in work, be in work mode, be in holiday mode, yeah, mood mode are also possible. Mode, have a particular feeling or way of thinking or behavior because of the situation you are in. Be, be the mood, sorry, be the mode means be fashionable at a particular time. Expensive, with A, not E, yes, expensive. Very friendly and willing to talk a lot. Very large, uh, very large in area. Uh, expanded, yeah, expanded area. Vast area, for example. Okay, expensive definition, an expensive definition. Expensively, expensiveness. Fancy doing something or feel like doing something is really practical. Okay. Be in a mood for. Be in a mood for doing something means fancy doing something or feel like doing something. For example, uh, I fancy drinking tea. Let me drink some tea. I feel like drinking tea. Let me drink some tea. I am in a mood for drinking tea. Let me drink some tea. Also means like or want something or want to do something very much. Very much, yeah. Serdar has obviously been in an exam mood. When do you think he will be in an expansive mood? I think he will be in an expansive mood on Sunday. Dalton is almost always in an attentive, careful mood. Who is almost always in an innovative mode? Uh, yeah, uh, Mahmoud is almost always in an innovative mode. But on the contrary, uh, Serhat is almost always in an conservative, conservative mode. The opposite of uh, innovative is conservative. Uh, studiousness, hardworkingness, studiousness is Mehmet's mode of life. 
what is Mesut's mode of life? Uh, diligence, uh, diligence uh, is Mesut's mode of life. Is Mehmet in work mode or holiday mode today? But unfortunately, Mehmet is in holiday mode today. What's your mode of thought? My mode of thought is harmony between extremes. Okay, thank you very much. And I hope again it was useful. And uh, stay healthy, happy until next time. And I wish you well-being. See you next time.